St. Catherine's mixed martial arts competitor Jasmine Jazdavisius has been making a splash in the UFC octagon. The member of Niagara top team takes on Kay Hansen at UFC 270 in Anaheim, California on January 22nd. Jasmine, you're speaking to us from the airport. You're on your way to Anaheim right now. Uh, not to Anaheim. I'm going to Vegas first and then going to head over to Anaheim for fight week. But yeah, just waiting at the airport a little bit before the flight. That's a hectic schedule. I understand you were in the gym doing some training, doing some working out this morning, then hightailing it to the airport on your way to Vegas. That's a crazy schedule. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you do what you got to do, but uh, we make it work. There is going to be a three-hour time difference, so leaving today, does that give you enough time to ease yourself into that time difference so you're at your peak performance on the 22nd? Yeah, exactly. That, that's the plan. Uh, the time difference, like the climate change and, you know, we're a little bit nervous for the border. So, uh, so yeah, it, may, it make, made sense for us to, uh, to get over there early. Can we talk a little bit about your opponent and, and how you match up against her? So I believe you're at five foot seven, 32 years old, some experience uh, behind you. You're fighting a 22 year old who's much smaller than you, five foot three. 10 pounds lighter than you. What's the strategy? How do you deal with those differences? How do you use that size to your advantage? Um, yeah, so obviously I'm I'm bigger than her, but like on fight night will be will be the same size pretty pretty much. Um, I think it, I think stylistically we match up very well. Like we're both we're both well rounded, so I think it'll be a really exciting fight. Uh, we're we're both down to scrap, so. That, that's the plan, you know? Um, I think uh, that, you know, I'll, I'm, I'm longer than her and uh, the, the range and striking will, uh, will make a difference in this fight. And uh, yeah, it should, be, it should be a fun one. How long have you been doing mixed martial arts and competing and how did you first get into this? Um, I started later in life. I didn't start until I was uh, like almost 26. And um, I started, I was, I was going on a, a trip with, uh, it, he was just my boyfriend at the time. Now he's my head coach as well as my boyfriend. But um, I was going on a trip with him. He was cornering uh, former UFC fighter Jason Sago out in Prince Edward Island. And so he's like, oh, want to come to PI? And then I'm just like thinking, yeah, like, I love seafood, you know, free trip out to PI, eat some lobster, why not? Um, but then when I was out there, we were obviously in the gym like very, uh, every single day, twice a day. And uh, I was like watching, I'm like, you know, this is really cool. And uh, then they, there was one night there was sparring and I was watching sparring and I was like, oh, they, like this is really what it is. This is awesome. So I'm like, I want to spar, I want to spar. And they're like, you're not going straight from doing nothing to sparring. So after it was done, then Jason moved around with me a bit. I'm trying my hardest to punch and kick him and do everything. And, he, you know, he's just toying with me. But uh, he's, he told me after, you know, you have a little bit of natural ability. Like, you you make a, you can make a run at this. You put the, put the training in. And uh, that's kind of like how the, how the, spark, the spark happened. And then, uh, you know, I started training more consistently, fell in love and never looked back. Can you talk a little bit about Niagara top team and how your coaches have prepared you for the bigger stage? Yeah, so I train out Niagara top team. It's a gym in St. Catharines. Uh, I think I have the most amazing coaches in the world. And uh, we we have a great team. Like our, our team is super, like we're, we're like a family, you know? It's like when whenever, whenever somebody's going into battle, you, you got the whole team behind you. And, um, we're uh, like we're very very close knit. It's uh, and everyone's super high level, right? So it's like you're just like pushing each other. Like you know, I get a little better, and then my training partners get better, and I got to figure out how to beat them. And uh, you know, we just like level each other up every day. It's so amazing. Some of your team members have some fights scheduled in the next little while. After Anaheim, do you help them train, help them prepare for their upcoming fights? What is the dynamic amongst the fighters within the gym? Yeah, we're, we train year-round consistently. So it's like, say I fight on Saturday, 
usually I'll take two or three days off, you know, let, let my body rest up and, you know, let, let everything simmer. And then right back in the gym, you know, it's, if, if I'm not there to help my training partners get ready, how could I expect them to, to be there to help me get ready for my fight? So we, we don't take uh, much time off after, after a fight. We're, we're in the gym right away, helping each other out. The team just moved into a new facility, much larger, I understand. What is that like? Does that help bring the team together to work together more efficiently? Yeah, it's awesome. You know, we, we were in a, a little basement before. We were, we were making it work, but, uh, but yeah, having the, the new facility, it's, there's just so much more room. Like, uh, it, it's nice. Instead of having to break up into two groups to get our live work in, we can do it all at one time. And, uh, we're, you know, it's, uh, we got more heavy bags. We've got more, more um, weights and more equipment. Uh, it's just a, it's a beautiful facility, and uh, we're just, like, happy to, to move in. You mentioned after Vegas, you go to Anaheim for fight week. What is that week like? What is involved in the, I guess, the preamble leading to the big day? Um, so it's uh, not too exciting, actually. <laughs> we, uh, we just have to go down there just to make sure everything's good for the COVID testing and then stay in the hotel. And then so when, when we're there, it's just like I have my, my coaches there. And so we'll do some, some training and uh, getting ready for the fight, cut a little bit away and uh, prepare for battle. You ready to make weight? Is that uh, that? I assume that that's not a problem for you, having seen you fight in the past. Yeah, no, my my weight's good. I uh, I'm I feel, I could, you know, make weight with within the next little while. You know, I I uh, it's not too hard. I I'm not massive for for 25, and I've been watching watching my weight. I, you know, it's part of the game. You gotta be professional. You gotta you gotta be uh, ready to make weight. Jasmine, thanks so much for taking time out of your extremely busy schedule. If no one believes how busy you are, I, I mean, the background, the airport right now puts an <laughs> emphasis on that. Good luck on the 22nd. We'll be watching you back here in Niagara. Thanks again. Awesome. Thank you so much.